get it. No standard errors. Because of the choice that Facebook made to make GraphQL a transport agnostic and not tied to HTTP, that they lost on the ability to, to define the to use the built-in standard error mechanism for HTTP. So every request that comes back actually responds back with HTTP status code 200, okay? You, you don't get to use these uh, beautiful status codes anymore because they don't use them. They always return 200 okay, despite you get an error back. Even if you got an error back, you get 200 okay. So they didn't use this ability. And maybe for a good, there was a good reason. They chose, they lost on these beautiful standard errors, right? So if you don't use the standard error, you have to define your errors. And if you define your errors, it's the wild, wild west, right? Because nobody knows what are the errors that I'm gonna back, getting back. How do I know if this is error or not? Should I check the string error? That sounds hacky, but that's, that's my opinion. Again, the whole thing here is my opinion, guys. Right, you can argue with everything you can see here, right? and that we need to have a discussion as software engineers. We need to be very critical about technologies. That's what we're here for. Okay, we don't just take a technology and run with it. We need to kind of understand what's going on, right? Mm -hmm.